In the early hours of a Thursday morning, a devastating wrong-way crash on the Southern State Parkway in Islip, New York, claimed the life of nine-year-old Eli Henrys, while leaving his mother, Carrie Bedrick, at the center of a tragic and disturbing incident. The 32-year-old mom from Centerport has been charged with driving while impaired by drugs and aggravated DWI after she allegedly caused a four-car pileup that ended her son's life and injured two other drivers. At approximately 2.15 a.m., Carrie Bedrick was reportedly driving a 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SUV on the wrong side of the Southern State Parkway. The scene quickly turned chaotic when a Suffolk County Sheriff's deputy noticed the vehicle traveling at high speeds and attempted to pull Bedrick over. Instead of stopping, Bedrick allegedly accelerated, leading to a catastrophic collision involving three other vehicles. Bedrick's son, Eli, who was in the back seat, was gravely injured in the crash. A Suffolk County Sheriff's deputy and a state trooper who arrived at the scene performed first aid on the young boy before he was rushed to a nearby hospital. Tragically, despite their efforts, Eli could not be saved and was pronounced dead shortly after arriving at the hospital. Crash also injured two other drivers, Haiti Meyer, 29, and David Picard, 24, who were both taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The driver of the fourth vehicle involved in the crash was reportedly unharmed. Following the crash, Carrie Bedrick was found standing outside her mangled SUV when officers arrived at the scene. She was subjected to a field sobriety test, although the results have not been disclosed by authorities. Bedrick has since been charged with a series of serious offenses, including felony aggravated unlicensed operation, operating a motor vehicle while impaired by drugs, aggravated DWI with a child under 16, and criminal possession of a stimulant. The heartbreaking loss of her son and the charges against her are likely to result in a legal battle that will determine Bedrick's fate. She is currently being held and is scheduled to be arraigned on the charges. The tragic incident has left a lasting impact on all those involved, particularly the Suffolk County Sheriff's deputy who first responded to the scene. During a press conference, Deputy Under Sheriff John Beck acknowledged the traumatic nature of the event, noting that the image of the young boy's face will be forever etched in the memory of the deputy who tried to save him. The community is reeling from the tragedy, as they grapple with the loss of a young life and the disturbing circumstances that led to it. Case serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of impaired driving and the devastating consequences it can have, not only on the driver but on innocent lives caught in the crossfire. As Carrie Bedrick prepares to face the legal consequences of her actions, one cannot help but reflect on the unimaginable pain she must be experiencing. The loss of a child is a grief that no parent should ever have to endure, and to be the cause of that loss adds an unfathomable layer of sorrow. The charges against her paint a grim picture of a mother who, in a moment of impaired judgment, made a decision that forever altered the course of her life and the lives of those around her. This case will likely unfold in the public eye, with every detail scrutinized and analyzed. But beyond the legal proceedings, it serves as a somber reminder of the importance of making responsible choices, particularly when it comes to the safety of our loved ones. The story of Carrie Bedrick and her son Eli is one of profound tragedy, and it leaves us with difficult questions about accountability, loss, and the human capacity for both error and redemption.